idiot cops have made many unbelievable mistakes in the past, but what happens when they make the ultimate one? Here are four times when idiot cops arrested the wrong guy. Come on, step up on me. I'll explain to you. I know, step out. I'll explain everything. No, sir. Tell me why. Right now you are being detained. Come on and step out. Hey, yeah, guys, right? Come on and step out. Come on. Come on and step out, bro. Come on and step out. Come on and step out. We're gonna get tased. Come on and step out. Come on and step out, bro. Come on and step out. Come on and step out. Come on and step out. Bro. Step uh, what, out. What are y'all? Hold on, hold on, bro. Come on, step out. In October 2021, Sylvester Hayes, a 27-year-old father, was on his way to get some French toast and bacon for his children when he was pulled over by the police. Unaware of the reason, Hayes was very confused and agitated, and the incompetent cops did everything to make the situation worse. For what? Yeah. Mom, stop. Mom, stop. Hold on. Y'all, I didn't give y'all some. Bro, 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 It turned out that the Dallas police had mistaken Hayes for a domestic violence suspect due to a similar spelling of their first names, yet they hadn't listened to any of his attempts to clarify the situation and even insisted that he had brought it upon himself. Stop. Don't even understand y'all in big trouble. Go for it. I don't care. Y'all in big trouble. You are under arrest. Oh, I'm in big trouble. You guys are you good? I'm in big trouble. Get him up. You good? I'm in big trouble. Y'all are in big trouble, man. I can't even get up, man. My Scoop back! 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 Scoop
Hayes was right when he said the cops were in big trouble because he eventually filed a lawsuit against Dallas and its police officers, alleging two counts of excessive force and moan count of unlawful arrest. But idiot cops don't go up to innocent people so aggressively only in Texas. They do so in Florida too. Hey, stop the car. Stop. You stay here? No. What are you doing here? Why does it matter? Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Hey, what are you doing without punching your Don't ever forget that. I'll punch you in your car. Hey, let me know. Let me explain to you what we're doing. Put your hands on me and I am responding. I don't give a I'm responding to an alarm call. Put your hands on me and I didn't turn up on you. Turn around. Watch your Nobody's under Here's another woman who was forcefully pulled out of her car and wrongfully arrested, and it was all over one dumb mistake. The sergeant had been responding to a burglary call, but stopped one street over from the correct address. And like all idiot cops, he wasn't willing to admit that he might have made a mistake. Turn turn around, ma'am. Turn around. Stop. You're not under. Me. You're not under I don't arrest. Care. You came in this car style. Don't you ever put your hands on me. I'll spit arrest. on you. Stop under arrest. Stop. 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 Move in the car. Move it. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Turn your hand behind your back. Move. Move. Turn your hand behind your back. Move. Oh my soul. This better be lucky because I'm not trying to hurt you. 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 I am trying not to hurt you. Shut the up. Bro, come on. Shut the up. Turn around. Sit down. Sit down. I said, sit down. Sit down. And you know you're wrong. And I take your whole job. Oh my soul. Fix my wrist. It's breaking. Come on, bro. What the? Come on, bro. It's not breaking. Fix it, bro. If I said it hurt, it hurt, and I will spit on you. Fix my wrist. What the? Fix it, bro. What are you doing? Stop touching me. Stop pulling Stop away. Stop touching me. My wrist hurts. Turn around. I'm going to pull away. What touch. the f***? Why are you doing too much, bro? You, you touch me. I'm going to kick your f***. You doing too much. Don't touch me. What's wrong with you? You see, you got me. The f***? I kicked this whole car on my mama. Listen. Move. Don't, don't go. She can talk to me. You can't say f*** to me. Check her car. You cup. can't say f*** to me. Fix my f*** up. I will if you would just go f*** for a second, okay? I'm getting, I don't okay. care. Open my door. Door. That you don't care, my wrist hurts. in my car now. Don't push me because I can get in my get, Okay, then get in. My wrist right. hurt though. Get my in. My wrist hurt. Okay, get wrist in. Wrist hurting. If I'm you telling calm you. down, we'll help you out, okay? Don't push me, bro. I'm not going to tell you. Put your feet in the car, please. Can you try to get away? I will listen I will to help you, you out. but she cannot be in my face. Okay. Okay. Neither one of them. Get, it. get out of my face. Even after it was discovered that the sergeant and aide a grave error, he still tried to run circles around it and avoid taking responsibility. While some victims of such idiot cops are unable to fight for themselves, some others, like the one in the next case, stand their ground till the very end. Hi there. I have it. My office is here. Your office is here? I own an office here. Okay, which office is it? The other one, the law firm. The what? Here is my business card. Okay, so 160. Okay. Alright. Huh? I can show you my ID. If you don't mind, just so. Yeah, if you don't mind, can we see your ID? Yeah. That's a pretty cool. Uh, that is pretty cool. That's a slick uh, business card. Yep. Alright. I'll give it to him. Um, you can keep doing what you're doing. On July 10th, 2021, Emmanuel Olawale, a civil rights attorney, was taking out trash when he was approached by two Westerville police officers. The conversation was going pretty well until the next question. Can I have it back? Just no. don't run it. Uh, don't, have to, don't, don't run my card. Don't run my ID. Huh? 
don't run my ID. Don't run your ID? You have no reason to. Well, we're going to at least mark it down. We're going to take down your information. Nope. I'm on my property. Put in trash in my trash Okay. Can. But this is, wait, this is not just your property. It's several people's I, property. I understand. Okay. But I'm not violating any law. So don't no one said that you're violating, violating no, any law. No, no, no. Don't run my ID. I'm a lawyer. I know my rights. Okay. I'm not violating any law. I'm on my property. There's no suspicion. No one called anybody. So don't run my ID. I only identify myself so that this won't escalate. That's fine, but we can still mark down who we're out with, and so that's what we're going to do. No. Yes. Didn't stop me. This, don't turn yes. this into an issue. Sir, you are turning this into an issue. We're just simply marking down who we're out with. Yeah. So he's I'm just going to write it down on a piece of I'll paper. Just, just, yeah. It's just your name. Why? Since Olawale knew that he didn't have to give his consent because he didn't commit any crimes, the officers had to find another excuse to run his ID, and they came up with the dumbest one possible. Because, sir, we are out with you because we were concerned that you were illegally dumping. But, but you, you already discovered Do you want me to show you my office? I understand that you're here, but I don't know if this dumpster belongs to you or somebody else in the, in the it complex. It belongs to me. To you and you alone? Yes. Can you prove that that dumpster belongs to you and you alone? This dumpster belongs to the property. Okay, and that's my... And my stuff in there. That's my point, though, is that if it's also other units... So what? We belongs to everybody. We're paying okay. for it. It doesn't really matter if it belongs to all the unit. That's fine. Just give me back my ID. Thank there. you. Thank Hi. You. Don't worry. Everything is under control. And that's my wife. Okay. okay. That's now, fine. Do you want your you card came, back? Yeah. I understand you came to check, but trying to run my ID to find anything? No. That's illegal. That is not illegal. But okay. You can finish stumping if you like. Thank you. All right. Just turn around and get out of here and then we'll look him up. You got to put the keys in first. Olawale refused till the end, until the cops had no choice but to back off, but as soon as they got back in their patrol car, they went ahead and did what they wanted. Sure, idiot cops make silly mistakes all the time, but this next one sounds more like a case of blinding racism. Caucasian male, it's maybe late 30s. He's wearing a dark green slash gray type colored Carhartt coat. He's got a red hoodie underneath. Um, I believe he has a cutting device. This was the description of a shoplifting suspect given to two Westchester police officers who were on call. The description clearly stated a white male in his 30s. Why then did these cops stop a black man in his 60s when they arrived at the Miser store? We might never know. Oh, hey, Tim. To make matters even more ridiculous, this man had walked in after the cops, so it was completely impossible that he was the suspect. So what do you want? What do you want me to do? If you have things to what do they say? A black man did it? No, sir. Well, what do they say? Because I'm walking here after you guys. Listen, listen. This isn't tan. What am I listening to? Yeah. Well, that's not what we 
green coal. An internal investigation was carried out and the two cops were found guilty of violating department policy. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.